Da 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 Cool, not many problems in the colony it seems, apart from a couple of people wearing tattered clothing. What are they wearing? Okay, we need a better shirt for do today. And Batman's wearing something filthy. Uh it's a Parker. I see, she's wearing a Parker. Alright. Well that can be sorted fairly simply. We'll just make a bat we'll make a small a small batch of those. Am I live? Cool, I've just gone live. The chat hasn't moved yet, so people aren't here. Uh, so let's make four t-shirts. Ah, with whatever, really. Whatever we have to hand. Don't use cloth, though, because we need it. Uh, I've got some devil strand. Yeah, why not? Some leather, alternatively. Yeah. Leather shirt sounds rubbish, though. What was the other one? Um, Parker. She, well, I don't really want her wearing a Parker. Uh, hang on. Just switch them over to summer. Oh, wow, that's cool. Hopefully that'll, that'll get them to take off their Parkers. I think Parkers still have a penalty. G uh, hi there, folks. Good afternoon. I can see the chat is moving now. Welcome indeed. Uh, I was streaming for a, a couple of minutes. For the last couple of minutes, the chat wasn't moving, so I assume the notification was still going out. But yes, hi there. Oh, wait. They're taking off their jackets as well? I suppose that's fine. Hang on. Can I just check something? Um... Jackets. Oh wait, hang on. Jackets apparently have some armor protection. Okay, uh, scratch that then. Sorry, let me just go back to the assigned screen. Manage outfits. Uh, summer clothing. Let's let them wear jackets then. If it does give them a slight... Well, they can always take it off voluntarily. I'm not forcing them to wear it. But it's parkas that I need them to not wear. For if I click on a parka... Sister's wearing a Parker, right? Yeah, so a Parker, I believe, has a work speed penalty. Is that still true? Doesn't seem to specify. Hmm. Does anyone know, speaking to the chat? Does anyone know if Parkers in RimWorld still have a work speed penalty of 20%? Or did they change it in 1.0? Okay. 50 to 100%. Well, I, I, yeah, I, I'd rather I'd rather that they wear tattered clothing than no clothing at all, Grease. Geese. Geese. Hmm. They took it off. Okay, so you can just wear parkas. Huh, interesting. So maybe the whole assigning winter or summer clothing is pointless then. Thank you, Bottle Cap. Thank you very much. And um, P. Philip J... Wait. P. Philip J. Fry... And uh, Bamond, thank you all of you. And um, yes, so welcome folks. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely afternoon. Um, so what's going on? So I was I was going to just chill this. I, I, I've done some cleaning. I've done some chores today. And I, I've kind of like finished my what I have to do today list. And I'll be joining the guys later for a bit of VR something. We normally do VR on a Saturday evening. But until then, I've got some time to kill. And I was going to drop in to play some RimWorld anyway. So I thought, eh, why not? So I wandered around to the shops, I got some chocolate and some soft drink, and now I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna play for a bit. I don't know for how long, but, um, yeah, I'm good. Um, she's good, she's just a bit damp, we, we got caught in the rain slightly, but she's, yeah, she's alright. Lulu's having a, a rest, she's having a nap, but, uh, yeah. Right, okay then, so welcome indeed to Coloma's Creek. It is a six-year-old colony now on the, well, on a, on a literal creek, so a swampy creek here. We're building a bridge over this section, but the river can still go underneath it. Um, thank you, Corhard. Thank you very much, Corhard. Okay, so people are just taking off their jackets. That shows she put it. Yeah, I'm confusing them. They're putting it back on now. Okay. Right. So at the tailoring bench, then just make any T-shirt. And what was the other thing? Well, the parkers were being worn. I see. So disallow them from wearing. Yeah. 
from wearing uh, tattered, I suppose, is one way to do it. Thank you, Ed's House. Thank you very much, Ed's House. Thank you. And uh, Ilty. Thank you, Ilty. Thank you very much. Right, um, so yes, uh, what's happening so far? So six, uh, since it is now the sixth summer, uh, things are quite well established now. All of our fields are continuing to grow and soon will be the first harvest. We'll get away with a second one before the temperatures plummet, hopefully at least. I do have some basic hydroponics going, but it's not that extensive. Thank you, Church. Thank you very much. New Pavlov patch. Oh, really? Ooh, that could be interesting. Interesting indeed. Yeah. Okay. So, yes, in RimWorld, at least, uh, we're, we're sort of taking... Well, we're trying to sort of harvest the bounty that is summer, um, uh, along with hunting as many creatures as we can. So, Sisla, our resident hunter and builder, at the age of 58, is just hunting rabbits with that sniper rifle. Uh, we really need steel, urgently. So, I think I should send an away team to the southern mining camp once again. Let's get as much wood as we can so they don't have to faff around chopping down trees. Maybe just give them bricks. Yeah, give them granite granite blocks so that they can build something a bit more permanent. I'll take a little bit of wood with them. How much wood do we have? 400. Yeah, they've got plenty. So I'll send them... Well, it's, it's 10 in the morning, so I might as well send them now. Yeah. Thank you, Shadow Keeper. Thank you very much, Shadow. Thank you. Right, in which case... Where's Do today? Do today and Finn would be a good idea. Um, yes, also some news. I played a little bit last night, not for long. But Gumball and the Oros are now shagging. They're now in a relationship. So the Oros is a 46-year-old animal handler. Uh, he's uh, a human computer. He's a bit of a wimp. Uh, he generally stays out of combat because he can't fight. But uh, yeah, he is now in a relationship. He flirted with uh, Gumball over here. Our 37-year-old very unstable evangelist preacher. The second one. And the two of them are now in a relationship, so congratulations on the sex there. Well done. Cargo pods have been detected going through re-entry. Uh, ooh. Neutro uh, neutroamine. Okay. Very valuable. 67. A sort of base drug used to make better, better medicines and shit. Very, very useful. And this is the southern mining camp. The hut here has suffered some damage from a raid, but otherwise it's okay. Right. We'll retrieve that as soon as we can. Get that. Yeah, get that safe. It's also green over here because of a toxic fallout event that I didn't uh, remember. Uh, but we, we, we won't be here long enough for it to be a problem. Okay, uh, so do... D yeah, so here we go. So world. From the main base, form caravan. Let's select do today, our cranky geologist here. And... Sorry, my... Ow. Oh, oh. Thank you, Artful Maverick. Thank you very much, Artful Maverick. Thank you, sir. Okay, so do today. And also... Uh, Finn, the resident Glitter World surgeon and former uh, spy when she was a child. We're going to be sending... Ah, uh, hang on a minute. Thank you, Timmy. Thank you very much, sir. We'll send uh, Neville the camel and Camelberg, so Edberg the camel. And we might as well send a couple of... Well, actually, no, most of the cows are pregnant. Um, no, keep the cow. Just send the camels, it's fine. Okay. Certain, uh, yeah, uh, give them a little bit of food. Uh, or milk. Milk's fine. Milk will keep, will keep them going. Oh, my phone's wibbling. Thank you, Timmy and the captain. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, oh, that's... Really? Bear with me. Oh, no, it's fine. Sorry, I just had a notification. Um, that's out of date. That's all good. It's fine. Right. Okay, yes, one of the cows is called Messiesi. Yes. And uh, Novi as well. Uh, <laughs> we've got... Um, so, Nep, Novi, Zeiss, and uh, Messi as our cows. Three of which are pregnant. So, Zeiss, Nep, and Novi are all pregnant. Uh, at the hands of Quebec, which is creepy. Thank you, Wigo and Zado. Th thank you, both of you. That's very kind. Yes, jo uh, yes Damien. Jonah is the last remaining survivor of the original landing colonists. Sorry, what was I doing? Um, right, give them a little bit of psychite tea, just in case they get stressed, and give them some milk. Give them 40 units of... 50 units of milk, and some berries. 30 units of berries. Units of berries? 30 berries. And maybe some insect meat as well. 
And then also have them pick up some bricks to take with them so that they can do some building when they get there. Thank you, Mallow and Zero. Zero LG, sorry. Thank you. Right, so please take about 200 granite. Well, it might be a bit much. Take 80 granite blocks with you. And a bit of wood to repair the beds. We should put bed rolls and just take them with us, shouldn't we? Nah, beds are fine. Where's the wood? So sorry, to explain, what I'm doing here, for the people not familiar, it's a list, it's like an inventory of all the things that they're taking with them, with the total mass represented in the top left corner here. So 210 kilograms can be carried on the back, well, between the backs of the colonists, but also on the pou pouches of the camels. Okay. There we go. So Dudaday and Finn are going to be gathering up together. So they've got their guns, they've got their equipment. They're picking up the gear. And they're going to load them up into the camels and head south. Thank you, Setsu. Thank you very much, Setsu. Uh, yes, Sai is dead, Paper Ski, I'm afraid. He was killed in a particularly bad raid that also saw the death of uh, the Oris's father and Dragoner. They died here. The, the, uh, the bandits were trying to kidnap them after, the, uh, after they successfully defeated most of our defences. And uh, their injuries were simply too severe. They expired. Which is a big shame. Inspired trade. Gumball Bob has experienced an inspiration. She will get a significant trade price bonus when closing her next trade deal. The inspiration will expire after eight days or when a deal is done. Gumball being our evangelist who is also quite good socially. So she handles some of the trade. It's really Jonah that handles most of the trade. He's the face of the colony as it were. Yes, the music is in game. And thank you, Meteora, and Yasu, and Setsu. Thank you sincerely. Thank you. What's Hudu doing? Oh, he's building a chair. That's fine. Yes, indeed. If you click below the stream, folks, it's a little out of date, but you should find a Google Doc containing a list of all of the all of the survivors of this playthrough, uh, along with the people who died and how. Uh, I need to update the pictures urgently, and also some of them haven't been filled in properly yet. Okay. Right, so on the fourth day of summer, um, my true love said to me, but also, uh, yes, we need to gather up as much as we can in terms of food and steel, get our defenses in order, hay grass especially for the winter. Otherwise, what are the animals going to eat? So here's the hay grass growing. I've got a few different hay grass fields because we found that one wasn't enough. We ran out of food before we were able to get the grass growing outside. Ah, the potatoes are ready. Uh, no mods currently, Darkman. Also, sorry, what have I just noticed here? If I accidentally... I believe I have. I think I've somehow accidentally deselected this field. There's hay grass growing. It's ready to harvest. Don't know how I managed that. Thank you, Partial Blackout. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Hmm. Let us prioritize the harvesting of this then. How does one do that? I don't know how long this has been sitting ready to harvest. Thank you, Partial. Thank you very much, sir. Right. I'm just because I don't want to lose these potatoes. Let's also get these hauled in. So I'm moving the janitors, Farinir and Gumball. So an evangelist, uh, Gumball, and Farinir, a servant. And they're going to come outside and start lifting these um, boxes of potatoes, Oros is helping, to move them into, into this secondary storeroom. Yeah, it's, yeah uh, this is the sixth year, Kalki, so we're getting there steadily. Each year, so there are, well, there are four seasons and each one is about 15 days. So we've been going for a while. I'm not sure, Corrupted uh, Komodo, I don't think it's my type of game. Okay. Right, so Finn and Dudaday, so a geologist and a surgeon, are now, they've just left the confines of the camp. They're wandering forward into the unknown. Uh, they're just heading south following the trail they've trotted many times before uh, to arrive at the south mining camp where they're going to retrieve some steel. We've pretty much stripped this whole area of steel, you see, which is why they're moving away from the camp. And we can't go one tile across because it won't let us settle. We have to go two tiles. Uh... That gunshot was Sisla. He's aiming his sniper rifle at a squirrel. Woo, good shot. Nice. So he's hunting 
Yeah, he's hunting, but he can. Okay, what else is going on? So where's J-Girl? The bandit is currently relaxing. She's just having a seat. That's all well and good, J-Girl. You're relaxing in Faraday's bedroom for some reason. Once you're done with that, would you mind brewing up some wort? Uh, hang on, where is she? Yes. If you wouldn't mind. So take some of the hops and brew it into wort, and then we can place that wort into these barrels to begin the fermentation process. Producing beer. And beer is good. Thank you, Kildrex, and YCG Biggs. Thank you sincerely. Um, I haven't tried it, Prince Gore. I haven't tried it, I'm afraid. Yes, Creative Assembly are kind of working their way onto my shit list, unfortunately. Um, yeah, the more recent games have been not great, frankly. Um, right, you detected a, a bunch of cargo pods. Oh, here. What, what have we got? Oh, excellent. 179 units of cloth, so bolts of cloth, landed from the cryo ship above us. Very useful indeed. We should retrieve these as soon as we can. We'll be able to make medicine packages out of them. So turn our herbal meds into proper medicine. Okay. It's the harvest, folks. The fourth of summer. Fourth day of summer. The caravan has arrived over at the southern mining camp. Things are looking pretty dire here due to the toxic fallout. Most of the wildlife has died and is decomposing, as you can see here. Who's that? Oh, an escape. Yeah. It's a it's a, a colonist that crash landed. Whoops. Um, right. So let's get the people. Yeah, let's get our people down here. Let's get them under. Sh yeah, get the uh, camels under shelter as well. We won't be here long enough anyway. But uh, you know, digging at compacted steel. What are the camels doing? Camelberg and Neville. Let's just get them under a roof. Uh, okay. So build a roof there. Expand zone. Area. Well, it should be fine. Just, just let them roam free for now. So, so long as they don't go inside and eat, eat our stuff. Thank you, uh, Curse Dian. Thank you very much, Curse. Thank you. Uh, yes, Steiner Garden. So, by adding neutroamine to the uh, some some of the components of the herbal medicine, along with cloth to keep it all together, and one other ingredient, I can't remember what it is. No, that is it. Cloth, neutroamine, and herbal meds. You can make regular meds. Which are going to be super important if we're going to survive surgeries and stuff. Um, Sankey, could you go and retrieve some of that cloth? Hmm. Indeed, Neville is a camel. Thank you, Deadly Nut Cream. Love you too, man. Thank you, oh, well, no homo. Thank you, Light War and Cursor. Thank you very much. And T-King. Thank you, T-King. Hello. Right. Cool, J-Girl is now preparing some... What? Is she going to just drop it on the floor? Yes, yeah, she is. Good, good. Uh, a hauler will take it to a barrel. It's fine. Podo Man is sad. He's just generally depressive. Yeah, yeah. Right. Have they arrived? They've arrived. Oh, no. A heat wave. Whereabouts? Here at the colony. Okay, so we have a heat wave. So let's make sure that all heaters are disabled. Uh, we may have to put down a, a couple of passive coolers. Uh, that's probably going to be wise. Okay, so let's go to temperature, passive coolers. So they're just wooden like boxes with water that will cause evaporation and encourage cooler temperatures. So we'll just put them in the in the sleeping rooms. Nobody wants to sleep in the heat. Yeah, put a bunch of them though. They'll, they'll just take a bit of wood. Uh, maybe put one in the main living quarters as well. Yeah, cool. All right, we'll have those built. How much wood do we have now? 176 units. Sisla. He's still hunting a deer. Podo is sowing crops. Podo, would you mind? Okay, gonna have Podo just work on these passive coolers. You know. Would be a good idea. What's Chucky doing? He's making a work of... Oh, he's, must... oh, he's finished one. Sweet. A normal large sculpture. Ooh. That's smaller than I thought. Phrasing. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Just stick it in... Also phrasing. Uh, just stick it in... Uh, hang on. The Finn's bedroom. Why not? Okay. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you very much, Oscar. Thank you. Did I know that there's a Twitch chat input mode in RimWorld which could affect your game? Oh, God. The chat influencing the game. That would be a shit show. Synthetic raid. Synthetic raid. Again, again, again. <laughs> okay, well, it's almost... I'll, yeah, I'll let, I'll let my guys sleep here for the night and then I'll come back in the morning. Um, dude today, could you go... 
What are the camels doing? Oh no, Podo is off to binge on drugs because he's naturally depressive. God damn it. Sisla, could you... After after your dinner, could you... Oh no, Hoodoo's doing it. Well done, Hoodoo. No, that's a chair, Hoodoo. Go make the passive coolers. Unless you want to sleep in the heat. Thank you, the blue ice. Thank you very much, the blue ice. Thank you. Sorry, wait, where are the camels? What, why are they over there? Area 1. Uh, okay, hang on. Gear, granite, wood, put down the berries. No, no, don't put down the berries. Finn, can you haul no stack to merge into? Is food allowed here? Yeah, it should be fine. What's wrong with this? Finn, haul it. What? No stack to merge into. Shouldn't matter. The camels shouldn't drink it, right? Hmm. No, it should be okay, Super Tristan, so long as we... They're not going to stay here for any long period of time. Uh, cancel that for now, guys. Off to harvest a tree. Never mind about that. Unloading the camel. Um, okay. So what's Dude today doing? Picking up some... Yeah, I just need to get their, 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 sh their shelter done. Yeah, she's off to rest on the floor. Don't do that. Go and work on this wooden wall. Sandstone. So cancel the sandstone. In fact, just cancel these. Do today. Can you work on the bed instead? And we'll have Finn. What sort of bricks did we bring? Granite, right? Yeah, granite. Okay. So go here to the structure and go granite and just replace the holes with that. And we'll have Finn do that. Wakey, wakey. You can sleep. Oh, I accidentally selected clean. Okay. Right. So do today's picking up the wood to make the beds that they're going to sleep on. Oh, I see. It was already in a stockpile. Good sh spot. Thank you very much. I'm stupid. Raw resources. That's Yeah, that's why I couldn't move the milk. Alright. Finn, we'll go back for the milk in a second. Mm. Cool. We've got animal sleeping spots for the camels. Be nice to get a roof above their heads so they're, they're not getting a toxic build-up. Okay. Hang on a second. Dude, 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 too soon. Work on the other bed. Come on. Thank you, Faizu. Thank you very much, Faizu. Finn. Okay. So, oh, she's only got a single point of construction. Damn, they're both pretty crap at construction. Damn it. Uh, never mind about the passive cooler. Just work on the bed. Oh, he's off to get more wood from there. All right. Thank you, the one with the moustache. And Zevzu, thank you very much. Thank you. Hmm. Hi there, Nimble. Hello. I just want to get a sealed room just in case we have a disaster. Like uh, wild animals or something. Bricks take much longer, it seems. It's already yeah, it's already midnight. They're quite tired. The sooner they get this done, the sooner they can sleep. Thank you, Dragoner. Thank you very much, sir. That's very kind. Hi there, Dragoner. I hope you're well. Okay. So, do today. The geologist is back with the wood. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's building the bed. That's going to be Finn's bed. After that, could you work on that wall? Just work together. Many, many hands make light work. Well, no, I'm the narrator, Nimble. I'm not in the game. Okay. Assign this bed to Finn. And then just before you... Yeah, just put put a roof above the camel so they're not... No, yeah, they're not building up a toxic... Build up overnight. Oh, shit, he's botched it. God damn it. Oh, oh pardon me. Sorry. 
Okay. Thank you, Big Steve. Thank you very much, Big Steve. Thank you. Okay. And she's just cleaning, cleaning the shit. Uh, yeah, might as well grab that milk and bring it over here. So they'll leave tomorrow morning. They've got enough steel. It's just I want want to make sure they have a full night's sleep. Well, they won't now. It's already an early hour. Of the, yeah, the early hour of the morning. Okay. Indeed, there is almost had it. I know I keep mentioning it, and perhaps I'm wrong. It's possible I... Yeah, I'm not sure. But I don't think this is quite suited for a multiplayer game. Not, not all games are. This is a, a sort of slow burn story random event adventure game. The combat parts of it and the bits that you would be focusing on if you played it multiplayer are not as interesting. Same with Stellaris really. We played Stellaris recently and Stellaris is great when it's played single player but it's kind of mediocre when you do it multiplayer because everyone just race, race, fast, build up, build up, you know, just get to the battles and it's just numbers fighting each other. It's not, you know, where, whereas it's supposed to be about a slow burn where you you have an alien race that go through their trials and tribulations, their, their you know, you have pop-ups that you read the flavor text effectively. You sort of soak in the flavor of Stellaris. Same with this, really. As in these people with their relationships, their, their personality quirks, rubbing up against each other and causing conflict. It's not about pew-pew bandits, you know? That's the boring bit, if anything. Well, you know. Maybe I'm wrong. I just don't think multiplayer in world is for me. You okay, Lou? What's she doing? Yeah, she's alright. She's just staring. I put down her food a moment ago, but she didn't want to touch it. She's being a diva. She's like, is this it? Hmm. Exactly. Burns tail. Um, this is... I, I'd say, it sounds weird to say like you're supposed to get immersed in this, but... I'd say it's more about the flavor, you know, the, the atmosphere, the tone. It's not about who wins RimWorld, or I know it's not necessarily, if you're doing it cooperatively, it's not about who wins, but it's having to go through these difficulties and, and hell, watching all of these people die could be, I don't quote this out of context, could be really interesting. Like imagine having a major attack which sees half of my people killed and then the, the next half have to struggle through and then there's a big attack and then we see the end of Coloma, you know, Coloma's Creek. We had one colony a while ago, that, uh, like right when I started, that had... Uh, what, did, what happened? Sorry. There was a wild boar attack that forced us inside so we couldn't get our food. We couldn't collect the harvest. We were sealed inside a mountain. So we had no food. Someone died of infection. It was someone's wife. The husband went berserk with the shotgun and started killing all the other people in the colony. When there was one last person left, the only person who survived the rampage, they had nothing to do. I think a bandit attack happened or something. I can't quite recall. They just sealed themselves in and activated, I think it was an incendiary shell as a sort of final fuck you. You know, I'm, you know you're, no, you're never going to take me alive. I'm going to... Ex yeah, entomb myself with my with my friends. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's awesome. Holy shit, it was an awesome colony. What? It's 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 just like a, a really cool story of 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 uh, drama, you know. Thank you, Vix Vixer. Thank you very much, Vixer. And thank you, Cravius. Thank you very much, Cravius. Thank you very much. I hope you're well. Cravius, were you the cannibal back at, uh, I think you were, weren't you? If I'm remembering correctly, Cravius the cannibal back at the leafy crevice? The young lady that ran in chasing Pickled Tiger, trying to eat him? Who then died of, uh, I think it was malaria. Or jungle fever or something. Thank you, Magister. Thank you very much, Magister. Thank you. Random fire. Hmm. Okay then. Oh really, Ben? Ah. Was it jungle feet? It was something, Clive. It was some really nasty jungle disease that nearly wiped out half the colony. Thank you, Ontari, uh, Ontario. Thank you, Ontario. Thank you. Uh. 
Okay. Hmm. You don't think so? Shit, who am I thinking of? Sorry. Is it not Kravius? Maybe I'm getting my memory mixed up. Sorry. No, I know what it was. Sorry. Um, it was um, sleeping sickness. That was it. Yeah, that was it. It was it was um, something nasty that you get in like tropical jungles. Sleeping sickness. Yeah, that nearly killed half the colony. Thank you, Victor. Thank you very much. Right, anyway, what's going on? Right, so these two need to wake up because I need them to come home. There's too much toxic fallout here and we got the steel. So, wakey, wakey. Get some brekkie in the form of room temperature milk. Ugh. Soon. TM. Bush your brow. Soon. <laughs> um... Right, okay, so let's get going. So, could these two... No, no, don't... Oh, fine. Uh, yeah, leave the granite blocks behind. Leave the wood behind. Put it all inside. Take the rest with you. So please haul in uh, low priority location to store the steel, preferred. Yep, haul the steel over here if you please, and then we'll load up and go. Well, I suppose, mm, no, no, just, just fuck it. We don't need to move the steel. We can just move it to the, uh, move it directly to the camels. Okay, so select the caravan. Thank you, Dragoner. Thank you very much, sir. Much appreciated. Okay, take the meat, the berries, uh, take the milk that remains, leave the herbal meds, leave the psychite tea, and then beyond that, oh yeah, the bit of silver, and then just all of the steel. Oh look, we can take a little bit more. Ah. Uh, Alright, hang on, sorry. That is our main goal here. Get more of the steel. And just stick it right there. Pick up this seal. There we go. Right. And then go world. Form caravan. Neville and uh, Neville and Edberg, Finn and Dew today. Insect meat, berries, milk, silver, and then all of the steel. There we go. Maximum amount. 355. And then head on home. Head on home. Okay. Off they go. Okay, so they're going to form up. So back at the main colony, it's the fifth day of summer. Quite warm now. 47 degrees. Youch. Okay. Is that here? Uh, so a raider. It's the western mining camp. We're fine. So a raider called Paul has turned up. Ooh. A nervous but uh, very, very a good shot. He's got a burning passion for firearms. Alas, he's not really capable of anything else. He's certainly not worth launching a raid just to attack. Sorry, Paul, and yet it's a woman. Sorry, Valentina Paul. Right. Well, she's got nothing to really attack, so... Have fun with that, I guess. I could be a bastard and set these cryopods to home, but... Leave it. Right. All right, then. Ha. Oh, thank you, Paladin. Glad you liked it. Glad you liked it, indeed. Um, yes, indeed. So, I, uh, as mentioned in the message, I'm just going to work on one piece of it. Or try to. Okay. Are they moving? No, they're getting more steel. So, back at the main colony, things are just progressing along. We just need to get the harvest in, really, don't we? As much as we can bring in. Farineer. I'm just going to uh, hijack your current job. Same with you, Batman. And same with you, Gumball. Haul in all of this rice, if you please. 
Now we definitely need to get these coolers on because it's quite warm in these bedrooms. What the fuck was that? Huh? What the hell just squeaks? Oh. <laughs> One of our puppies is hunting. Oh, check off the female wall. Right. Need to watch the predator situation to make sure we don't have any war, uh, grizzlies or anything sneaking. Well, thank you for doing so, Crossbow. Thank you, sir. And Siri, Bo Siri Bomb and Shyaka. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Sorry, bear with me just a tick. Hang on. Sorry, I've managed to, um, I got stupid and I managed to accidentally cut i got to cut my hand and the way my mouse is resting, it's hurting. So I'm just getting a wrapped up t-shirt beneath my mouse because it's hurting. Um, thank you, Houston. Thank you very much, Houston. Ah, good. So we've got some beer fermenting now. Why was I over here? I was looking for Sisla. So one, once you're done with that gazelle, would you mind... I really do need somebody to uh, build these passive coolers now. Where's the other one? Here it is. Oh, it's already built. Nice. Who do did it? Sweet. No, 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 as in, it, yeah, it, it's not bleeding, it's just, it, it's just pressure. The pressure just hurts. I'd be resting it against my desk. Okay. Right, so the caravan is on its way. Where's Finn? What are you doing? Come on. Get your ass in gear. Get out of here. Let's go. Two today's waiting for you. Hmm. Seeing lots of chem fuel dotted around is not great. We should get that in its own storeroom. With a fire foam popper, just in case. So chem fuel is obviously explosive. So, I mean, truth be told, it's best if we have it in different locations. So we, yeah, chem, we don't want to lose lots of chem fuel simultaneously. That would suck. It's a to-do at one point. Okay, J girl's preparing meals with milk there. That's fine. Hmm. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay right now. We should get as much kibble as uh, as made as well, make as much as we can. We could use some of the rice to do that, couldn't we? Mix some of the insect meat and some rice. That might be wise. Stockpile zone. Critical. Rice. Okay. Then once we've got some here, we can take the insect meat, make lots of kibble, and then just put it in some other sealed store uh, here or something. Kibbles will take ages to go bad. It will feed the dogs in the winter. Huh. <sighs> Heat wave will spoil the meat. Uh, good shout. The freezer is not freezing. Really? We've got multiple... Hang on. Uh, the vent. Oh, was the vent... No, the vent is closed. Really? It's just that warm outside? 52 degrees. Ha! Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. This heat wave is going to cause a problem. Bloody hell. It's 52 degrees outside. We're roasting. Has anyone got heat stroke? Heat stroke initial on, on Jonah. Fuck. Minor heat stroke on Oros. Okay, a lot of people are getting heat stroke. Oh dear. That is going to be a problem. Alright. We really urgently need coolers then. Passive coolers. Um. So why is that then? So I just. Oh, I guess it's because it's super warm in here, isn't it? Replace the vent with another AC. Might have to. Fuck, I mean, yeah, fucking hell. Okay. Um, just put yeah. Let's not be stingy with the coolers. Flipping, freaking, freaking, freaking. Surround this this room. Yeah, you know, this room here with uh, additional coolers. And then it costs wood. There's loads of wood. Jesus, it's 50 degrees in the workshop as well. Um. Right. Where are the trees that we can cut down? Get a bunch of them, if you please. Go get them. Batman, never mind that. Go get some wood. 
Gumball, could you go get some wood as well? No, you can't do that. What's Ben doing? Ben's pretty good at that, aren't you? Yeah, go get some wood. Then we'll have Hoodoo and Sisla work together to build as many as, as many of them as we can. Uh, so, cooler there. No, nope, that's a Cooler done. Those two coolers are done. Oh, we need wood. Alright. Why not inside the freezer? Um... Well, it's got it's got two coolers working together, so the surrounding rooms would be a better idea, wouldn't it? Oh no, Farron is too hot, so uh, shit. He's now wandering around in sadness. Yikes! It is very warm. Okay, well the uh, the um, caravans are nearly back. Jesus, is, it, is are the are the crops even going to be able to? Non-ideal temperature. It's even too warm inside the, the hydroponics bay. Well, the, the rich soil thing. Do we need an airlock for the kitchen? Um, ideally, probably. Yeah, yeah. Bloody hell. Well, we're back with some steel. The lights are going off for the night. It's currently the uh, fifth day of summer. Let's hope the heat wave passes soon. Good, there's some wood. Well done, Podo Man. So where, where's Hoodoo? Hoodoo, could you uh, leave that for a second? Grab that wood and go work on that one, then that one. Sisler, could you work on this one, then that one? And then that one. In fact, no, let Chucky do that. Go, 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 boys. Grab as much wood as you can. So Finn is also about to experience a major break risk. Wait, where's Finn? Swelteringly hot and depressive. Sick? Why are you sick? Oh, the toxic build-up. Huh? Take off their parkas. Are any of them wearing parkas? I think I restricted their parkas. I think we're okay. No, wait, Batman's wearing a parka. A hyperweave parka. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Batman, take that off. Batman, take off your clothes! Whoa, oh, no. Put them back on, Batman! Jesus! Nobody wants to see 55-year-old lady nips. Especially considering your son Chucky is over here. <laughs> Jay girl's like, oh god, woman! Put on some clothes. Right. Extreme break wrist dude today. He's very hungry. Grab some food. Get stuck in. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Oh no! Shit! Dude today has gone berserk because he's so jealous and he's suddenly he's thrown his food down he's gone fuck this turkey and he's gotten out his m16 he just punched hoodoo oh, jesus he just hit punch so hit him in the arm finn is fleeing hoodoo is i assume also fleeing uh no um right could the three of you please work together to incapacitate dude today J girl, you come out here as well, but you drop your sword because that's way too much. Let's go right, incapacitate him, please. So, due today, the geologist has gone berserk. Quickly knock him down. Chucky the right, he's down, he's down, he's down. Right, relax, let's check the injuries. Uh, he's fine, so no, yeah, no permanent injuries to speak of. Everyone's fine, just, just chill. Everyone, just tone it down a notch. Everyone just relax, okay? Finn, take dude today to the infirmary. The infirmary is probably 50 degrees in the infirmary. Ah! <laughs> Good lord. Wait. Everywhere's super warm. Everywhere's super warm. Right, we're opening up all... Yeah, open all the goddamn doors. Well, don't do that, actually, because some areas might be cooler. Fuck me. It's too warm. It's the height of summer, everybody. A heat wave on the height of summer. <laughs> Dude, that I can walk again. He's like, get the fuck off me. Go there myself. Fuck you. Where's Ben? Ben is unpacking Neville because he's a camel with a pack on him. Uh, ben, come over here and tend to do today. Uh, no, don't worry about using the decent meds. Just, just use the shitty meds.
Okay, so for the people just joining the stream, welcome indeed. You're looking at the sixth year of Coloma's Creek, and it's the summer, so we're trying to take advantage of the the bounty of crops and animals to stockpile for the next winter. Alright. But we're in the middle of a heat wave and people are uncomfortable. Alright, yeah, just treat his bruises there. Well, the animals have got heat stroke as well. And the flu. <laughs> no one's having a fun summer. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you very much, Jasmine. Thank you kindly. Alright, what's Hoodoo doing? Don't rest yet. Work on that cooler. Did Chucky finish his cooler? Yes, he did. At least it's, it's 37 degrees in there. A comparatively comfy 37 degrees. Sisters off the rest. Uh. Oh shit, Joan is down. What the fuck? Serious heat stroke. Ah! Oh! Quick, grab him. Oh man, this sucks. This sucks donkey dick so much. Okay, quickly. Yeah, it doesn't take long to build these suckers. Chucky, go build that quick. Come on. Get these passive coolers down. Build them! It's too warm! It's too bloody warm! If we don't cool down the damn infirmary, then the heat stroke's just going to continue. Yeah, this is how we die. <laughs> of all the raids that could have taken us out, it's too fucking warm. Okay. So I'm trying to at least reduce the temperature of the surrounding rooms to get the, the freezer free frozen. Because right now, fuck all. Uh, Sisla's off the bed. I know you're tired, Sisla. I know. I'm sorry. But can you go drink some hot milk and go build more of these? We need more. Uh, yep, put one here. Put one here. Proto man, you two, you work on that one. Come on, work together. You guys can do it. Just work together. Thank you, Mitnir Love. Thank you very much, Mitnir. Thank you kindly. Uh, okay, so serious hypothermia. Hypothermia. Heat, heat, heat stroke, even. The opposite. Minor, minor, minor. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> the milk is probably cheese by now. Ugh. Chunky. <laughs> God. Uh. There we go. Right, Joan is, in, is at least cooling down in there. Well, Chucky needs to build another one of these. Otherwise, there's no point putting someone who's suffering from serious heat stroke in an equally warm room. So 38% heat stroke. It doesn't look like it's going down. Does the geothermal release heat? Yes, but I took the roof off. A piece of it. I suppose it, there's no real point putting... I just thought of that. So there's no point putting these in here if the roof's off. Ah, there we go. The freezer's at least frozen again. Right. Yeah, what am I doing then? I'm fucking stupid. Take take the roof off then. Never mind these. What's the point of that? Are we going to cool the, the bloody atmosphere? What? Right. Okay, 30 degrees in there at least. Ah, Chucky. Why? Why couldn't you carry enough? Ah, oh, you fool. You fool. Right. Cool. Well, the freezer's frozen again, so if people get really desperate, then they can go in the freezer. Jonah's off to go to bed. Uh, carry on. You still need your uh, foot replaced. He lost his foot in battle. We got a prosthetic one for you, but we just haven't had the meds to do the surgery. Not safely, anyway. Bum, 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 bum. Geothermal should be in its own room. Indeed, it should. Uh, needs must currently. We kind of huddled around it because it was fucking cold. But, uh, yeah, it, it's now formed the living room. Hmm. How are the animals? Uh, no, not too bad. 
Seven percent heat stroke. Two, yeah, it's falling at night. Good, good. Ha! Ah, anyway, so for everyone in the chat, I hope you're having a lovely, lovely weekend. No real plan currently. I'm just kind of chilling. Not sure how long the stream is going to be. I need to go walk the dog in a bit and get some dinner myself. Um, yeah. And then later this evening, I plan to join the others for something in VR, hopefully. In fact, do you mind? I'm just going to go for a wee-wee. I'll be back in just a second. Sorry. Blech. Right, I'm back. And I just looked at myself in the mirror. And unfortunately, I have a bum fluff beard. It's at that weird point where it, you know, you stop shaving and it's starting to grow, but it doesn't look very attractive. It's just like, pfft, like it's just, you know, random fluff. Like, I'm going to grow over here, says the beard. And then I'm going to grow over here. And it, so Keanu Reeves can pull off the, the bum fluff beard, but I can't. I look like a twat. So what inevitably happens is I end up growing the bum fluff beard and then after like X amount of time I look at it and go ah it's disgusting that I shave it all off and then it stays it stays like that for a while and then the cycle just repeats going oh, I wonder what I don't like with the beard no 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 see Keanu can pull it off Ke Keanu Keanu has the beard that doesn't attach in places like there's no there's no beard between Keanu's tash and his beard but it works on him but it doesn't for me. Right, anyway, so what's going on? So, uh, yeah, is the heat wave over? Nope, it continues. It's currently 39 degrees and it's only 4 in the morning. Ah! Where's that walk going? Off to hunt something, maybe? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We've got quite, yeah, we've got a quite large number of walks now. Uh, yes, uh, before, yeah, I need to sort out who they're actually following in battle. So, master. So I can assign a number of masters, right? Okay, so need animal level. Huh. Okay. So hang on, I want... I don't want to go... Yeah, I need to make sure that a breeding group always remains. So Svetlana and... Uh, who was it? Svetlana... No, I think it was Svetlana. How old is Svetlana? Female, adult, pregnant. Right, I don't want her following anybody. What does that mean? Bonded. Okay. So, Tattoo the Warg. Following Oros. But Oros doesn't take part in battle. That's the trouble. Uh, thank you, Blue Nurse. And uh, Henry Queef. Thank you sincerely. Thank you. Uh, hang on. So, can we, uh, the Husky. No, no, don't send the Husky. Yeah, just the Wargs. Okay. So, Batman. So... Lyoth follow Batman. Svetlana stay the fuck out of it. Amos follow Batman. Kilo, Batman. Horatio, Batman. Okay, there we go. Sorted. So Batman will be our hound master. Okay. Oh, starvation. Who's starving? Oh, Farron here because he's having a pissy fit. It's fine. He'll pass out before he starves to death. Yeah, okay. So in battle, Batman will go... Send in the hounds! And then they go, and they'll charge towards them. The assault rifle in the dining room will deteriorate. Good point, yes. So do today once you're on your feet again, sir. Cool, nice and cool in there. 17 degrees. Once you're on your feet, please stand up and go get your gun. Jonah's also sleeping. Oh, those rooms are warm as well because they don't have a cooler. Where's Hoodoo? Everyone's still... God damn it! People are still sleeping. 
Thank you, Need Not. Thank you very much, Need Not. Need Not. Thank you sincerely. <laughs> Hi there, Leoth. In the chat. You won't follow Batman, <laughs> a Batman without clothes. A mad gazelle. Dun dun dun. It's not here, it's fine. Server at the Western Cap. <sighs> Come on. Wakey, wakey, you two. Time to get to work. Jonah needs to go get his sword in a minute. Oh, wait. So, follow master when doing field work, follow master when drafted. That's what I want. So, I want the ones who are... Yeah. So, follow follow when, you know, battle commences. Hmm. And why not? I mean, we've got a couple of them bonded. Trailblazer the Timberwolf is bonded to... Uh, to who is that? To Podo Man. So follow while he's doing field work. Same with you, Oris. You'll have Svetlana follow you, I think. Or is it tattoo? I think it's tattoo. Okay. Hmm. Who are you bonded to? Yeah, it is tattoo. Cool. Thank you, Sotsius. Thank you very much. Okay. I still have to check the boxes for following into bat. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, John. Okay, so Poda Man is just removing the sections of the roof in here to help deal with the heat. The freezer is at least, well, in... not It's not the right temperature, but at least it's frozen. <laughs> yeah, we don't have the, uh, the war called Robin following Batman. Right, how much steel do we have now after that away to, uh, away mission? 172 units. We're going to need a lot more. An alpaca has self-tamed itself. How nice! Please, head straight to the kitchen. We don't need an alpaca. Uh, go to the boomlope feeding area down here. Thank you, giant foam dick hat. Thank you very much. Dude today is still sleeping. Thank you, Ragnar. Thank you, sir. Ragnar one one two <laughs> from the uh, from the what is it from the uh, armor bullshittery, sir? Where Cyanide and I had a little hissy fit before we got in the helicopter, the helicopter, and then Ragnar one two two one one two subbed to us both simultaneously. I remember that. God, it was years ago. Jesus. I hope you're well, Ragnar one one two. Why is Jonah down? Heat stroke. Serious heat stroke. Which he should be getting over? Question? No, he's getting... Fuck. Oh, he can't walk. Bugger. Someone put him in a hot room. God damn it. He's like leaving so leaving a dog in a hot car. Um, sister, can you, <laughs> can you go and help him out? Who left Jonah in a hot bedroom? Come on. He's like, let me out. It's hot. The ones in the infirmary are fine. Oh, Hoodoo, get the fuck up. You fucking faker. He's got a slight bruise on his right arm. A dude today hit me. Just get the fuck... Come on, get up and go get wood. Phrasing. Oh, you never do wood cutting. Fine, someone will get you the wood. Ben's gonna fit... Really? A pe a a a an old lady's gonna feed Hoodoo. Right. Then she's going to go off and get some wood to turn into the... Yeah. Hmm. Can make the kibble now. Good shout. We can indeed make the kibble. We have the rice. Where is J-Girl? What's she doing? She's relaxing. Uh, yeah, let, let, let her relax for a second. Otherwise, she's going to go ape shit. Thank you, Werner. Vernia. Thank you, Vernia. Thank you kindly. So 922 un units of insect meat, but we do have a few more insects that we can grind up. Uh, okay, need to get these done as well. We just need more steel, lots more steel. So TNT is sowing crops. Hang on a minute. So 
Finn. Who's doing the mining? Finn's handling the mining. TNT, I'm going to switch you from growing crops over to mining. Uh, yep. And who else is doing it? Dude today's obviously... Well, he's down. Our defences are still a bit half... You know, half cocked. We need to get all of this in quickly. And for that, we're going to need steel. Hmm. Someone is exhausted? Probably Farinir. He's having a mental break. Why did J-Girl go all the way to that table to relax and is not doing this one here? She went miles from the kitchen. I don't know why. Uh, unfinished flak vest. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I don't really know anything about it, Patrick. Um, forgive me, I'm not really interested in games when they're first released. They could be shit. I, I'm more interested afterwards when they're released and through good word of mouth. Yeah, people say they're worth getting. Not really interested in the hype, you know? Or the marketing. Uh, hang on. So is he still suffering from... Yeah, it's getting worse. So that's one cooler. Hoodoo, can you do the other one? Come on. Okay, hopefully it won't last too long. Uh, okay, Farron is finally collapsed. Oh, he's up again. He collapsed due to extreme exhaustion, but he has to eat. Just so hungry. Now he's off to bed. Hmm. Make one in the room where it won't work? No, it'll be fine. Heat will transfer through the vent, uh, you know, as in the temperature will equalize between the vents. Ooh, we found steel. Good. Ah, flak vest. Well done, Stanky. A good quality flak vest. Who's going to be wearing this then? So, marine armor, not you. Stanky, good quality flak vest. J girl, good quality flak vest. Sisla. Sisla, if you wouldn't mind. Cool, there we go. Need to give you some, uh, yeah, flak jacket and leggings. A to-do. Uh, where's Sisla? Uh, he's off to eat food. That's fine. When you're done, go and deconstruct this wooden bed. And that. Deconstruct all this as well. Good resources. There we go. Uh, temperature should start equalizing. Extreme, fuck me, extreme heat stroke? Is he not getting better? Tell me he's getting, it, oh, fuck me, he's getting, someone, someone stick him in the infirmary. Right, unassign that, make it Jonah's. Then someone drag Jonah. Lady Slaughter, can you drag Jonah? Yeah, medical emergency, Jonah's stuck in a hot room. Bloody hell. It's fine, we'll just stick him in the infirmary. It's only 17 degrees in there. Is anyone else really overheating? Initial heat stroke. No, no one's got minor heat stroke. Oh, hang on. 28% uh, heat stroke with Batman. Well, at least they've got safe temp safe temperatures they can seek. Yeah, is he wearing warm clothes? What's that about? Who needs warm clothes? Oh, Batman needs warm clothes. Because I made her take off her parka. Um. Oh, you'll be fine. I guess that's a warning for the winter. May need a battery farm to keep the power up. Nah, it's fine. And we've got reserve batteries. Or one. No idea, Sampir. No idea indeed. We'll see. That's probably a good idea, Modo. Although I don't think this heat stroke will last this much longer. Jonah! 
a fucking... Okay. Well, he wants to get up and walk around. That's fine. He's off to go get some food. Okay. So how are we doing in terms of... Off to go dig. Well, yeah, okay. The steel that we needed is here. Okay, defences. We need to get them sorted. As a matter of urgency. Hoodoo, before you go to bed. Never mind the cloth. TNT. Never mind that. Actually, just carry on. Jonah's getting food. You've been sleeping for quite some time, Jonah. I'm going to now hijack your priorities and have you work on that instead. So get these power switches on, get the, the cabling in, and then we can start moving the turrets up into these half-finished sandbags, deconstructing these sandbags here. We just need to get this, these defences going. So Hoodoo steps outside to use the additional steel that he has in his hand to... What the fuck? Are you, there we go. So paint the cabling. He's putting down cabling. Threaded under the ground. It is, however, quite flammable. Okay, he's taking a break for lunch. Well, midnight snack, I guess. Uh, now he's going to bed. <sighs> Fucking dude. Oh, wait, what? Okay, you don't have a component. Right. I see. We're minus a component necessary to do that. Right, okay. Uh, in which case, I guess we just need to get a component. Where are we going to get one? Just going to make them. Fabrication bench. Bad temperature. 40 degrees. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you, Mr. Peters. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Cool. TNT's off to retrieve some more resources. Can I say fuck one more time for you, unconsciousable? Fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuckity, fuck ass, fuck, fuck, fuck on a Saturday. Right. Jonah's done the exact same. Jonah. There we go. Thank you, Snift. Thank you very much, Snift. Oh, yes, I was going to put a plasteel auto door here. Nice, tough door. Wait, what? A weaker door than this? Okay, never mind that. A weaker door than a steel door. Thank you, Teehee. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, we need an auto door so we can quickly go whoop in and out. Then again, we can't afford it because it requires components. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Thunder Road. Thank you very much, sir. Fuck it, just go to bed. Some steel. Hooray. Any reasons my north defences are in the shape of a penis? I suppose a little bit. Like a very sort of chubby penis. This small, short, but chubby. Sort of. Well, it's so that bunker, 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 bunker. So in the event of an attack, we'll be able to shoot out. It's probably not perfect, but it's a start. And then if one of the bunkers fall, ha! You've activated my trap guard. We go back here. More bunkers. Pew, 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 pew. All the while, our mortars are going fwa, fwa, and then our people are going meow, and that's when we win. Ugh. That's how it works, you see. That's, all, that's what it's all about. We have plenty of high explosives now. Only four EMPs because, frankly, they're shite. They have been nerfed up the absolute asshole. They're totally useless. Right. In before I get attacked by sappers. Aha! See, I thought this through. Double wall. Ah. So they could be like, aha, cut through this. Oh no! Another one. What are they going to do now? They're stumped. They're flawed. I mean, they're probably just tunnel through it. But, but for a moment, they would be stumped. And surprised. You know. And that's an important part of combat, you see. The element of surprise. All right. What's the dog doing? She's just resting. She's fine. Okay, so we're building up our supplies. Uh, we're going to need... What happened to that? Hey, oh, bugger. 
There was hay grass here, but it seems to have gone. I've replaced it with... Ah! I thought that hay grass was going to get harvested. I guess not. That's annoying. We need to get as much hay grass as we can because that's what the animals are going to eat over the winter. So typically what you do, generally, when it comes to agriculture, is you make a large amount of, uh, well, plant matter and then sort of wrap it in plastic and it sort of starts fermenting a little bit. I think it's called silage? Silage? Not entirely sure. Just read about it once. And you sort of put it, you, that's what those plastic things are, you know, those plastic balls you see in fields when you drive past them. Oh. And so at the winter time, they've just got these huge amounts of hay that they can feed them, half fermented hay. Hmm. Why do they ferment it though? Why, uh, uh, what's that about? Is that just like a, a way of keeping away bacteria? That's, that doesn't make sense, does it, what I've just said? A way of, you know, stopping harmful bacteria. <laughs> Those plastic balls are the tractor eggs. Yeah, <laughs> yes, that's what they are. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Thank you very much, sir. How's your favourite ginger doing? I wouldn't know, Escudas. There's no one ginger here. Not here, not in this flat, not in the chat. There are no gingers. Not a single one. Actually, for those who are not familiar, yes, all of that started because one of Cyanide's mods, a guy called Mr. Batty, who I'm pretty sure they, uh, I think it, him and Cyanide actually bum, you know. It's, it, he's never said no when I've asked. But yes, uh, a boy toy that Cyanide has called Mr. Batty thought it'd be a joke to start pretending he's me at various conventions that I never go to. So he turns up at like Gamescom and he's like, he's massively ginger, like holy shit. And so it started this thing where it's like, oh, it's Soviet ginger. Like if, if you search Soviet Womble face, just type in Soviet Womble face in Google, you'll see just him. And then somebody, hang on, there's like, you know what these websites that are like calculate your net worth or whatever? They're always completely wrong. Hang on. So someone's taken his picture. Hang on. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's just a picture of Mr. Batty. Mr. Batty's face is all over the internet and everyone thinks that's me. It's great. It means I can start committing murders. Hmm? A perfect a perfect alibi. People would be like, ah, it wasn't me, you see, because, see, I'm ginger, according to the internet. So it couldn't have been me. That, that axe-wielding murderer that you saw with the long black hair uh, and the big... A uh, bum fluff beard. Yes. No, that definitely wasn't Soviet. Oh, hang on. Oh. Oh. And then there was another YouTube cl clickbait video. It was like fucking... Like with the, with the comments disabled saying Soviet Womble's face reveal. It's just Mr. Batty. Back when he was hanging out in Cyanide's flat. Bumming, I assume. And my man bun. It's not a man bun today. Fuck you. It's a, it's a it's a glorious ponytail. Yeah. It's a it's a pon. It's, it needs a wash ponytail. Right. No, I'm not even slightly ginger. Ginger the dragonfly. Hang on. <laughs> it's not, not even. Uh, where is it? Not even slightly. Look. See. Uh, not even slightly. Ah, just me trailing my, that's not me with like a disembodied head or something. Right, nice wig, yeah, <laughs> yeah, wig, yeah, the chat's going, wig, fuck you, fuck all of you, cunts. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, right. So what's going on now? So we're just, yeah, and more of the same, really. We're just trying to gather up supplies. Okay, so Jonah is up on his feet again. Can you go retrieve your sword from the mud? That is a plasteel longsword, sir. That took a while to craft with an extremely sharp edge. Uh, Chekhov, our puppy, has oh, uh, been hunting an alpaca. Blow me. Some bruises, but otherwise you'll be fine. Messi's pregnant. Congratulations. Chucky is preparing another sculpture for sale. Do today is still in the infirmary. Okay. TNT has gone to bed because she's a night owl. 
Temperatures are starting to be a bit better now. Pono Man is off to sow more crops. Carry on. Stanky is working. Uh, so the combat engineer is working to make uh, more components. Why is there a camel in the base? Uh, excuse me. Uh, no. Camels go into the livestock area, if you please. Get the fuck out of here. Bloody Edberg. Hey! The heat wave is over. Okay. So the Oros, our, compute, our, our uh, animal handling wimp, is chilling out in the rec room. J-Girl the bandit is currently preparing some food using the rice. Would you mind making some kibble? Oh, wait. I've cocked up. Of course. I, I allocated hay grass. My mistake. So, insect meat for the kibble. And uh, then please use rice instead of hay grass. We don't really have any hay grass right now. Okay. Exotic goods trader from the Doabirium. We know them. We're friends with them. Oh, and a marriage. Oh, wow. Holy shit. That was quick. Bloody hell. Over in a year. No, it's fine. The Oros proposed a lifelong commitment to Gumball Bob. Gumball Bob agreed, and the two are now engaged. At some point in the coming days or quadrums, 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 uh, they will have a marriage ceremony and invite all of the colonists. Except for Hoodoo. Consider placing a marriage spot if you want to control where the ceremony occurs. Ha ha! He's popped the question while she was leaving the room. Who <laughs> probably didn't hear the question. You want to get married? What? Yeah, whatever. Yes. Score. Right. Fiance. Georgette Gumball Bob Burke. The Oros proposed a lifelong commitment to Gumball Bob. Gumball Bob agreed, although she didn't really hear the question. It's true love. Right, right now the marriage spot is stuffed between the billiards table and the geothermal generator. Perhaps we should put it in a place that's a little bit more romantic, don't you think? Such as, such as, yeah, right here, over the scenic spot <laughs> in the mud. I hope all the guests bring their wellies. Uh, in the mud, next to the grave, the graves of the fallen. No, um, <clears throat> where should we put the marriage spot? Ah, uh, where's well, pretty? This is pretty, isn't it? Sort of, maybe. Uh. Like by the tur- hang on. Wait, where's quite pretty? What's pretty? Beauty level- what's our, what's our prettiest area? 15.5, 23 <laughs> in, in this random bedroom. Um, where should we put this? Put it here in like a lot in the foyer. If we, you know, make this look nicer. Inside the defense penis. It's not a defense penis. No, we can, we can. We can put some works of art and stuff and- no, it's a fucking combat zone. People are going to get shot here. Tip of the defense penis. Um, I don't know. What we, I don't really have any suggestions right now. I, I have the space, but I never take the time to make a really big, nice rec room. Yeah, to be fair. Uh, let's do it here. We'll, we'll make it look It'll be fine. It'll look lovely. Trust me. Uh, can I put down, put like a flower bed here, like a flower bed here, look lovely, put some lovely dandelions, I mean, roses, ah, we'll do roses, yeah, and then here we'll have a misc, the marriage spot here, designates a marriage ceremony which will take place here, and we'll put some art on either side, it's going to look lovely. This won't be for like another, you know, a while anyway. Two tiki torches. I bet you get, we'll get like toxic fallout just before the marriage. <laughs> and snow. Right, let's put a nice work of art like here. And then another work of art like here. And people are like, ooh. That's arty. See, Ben's already getting to work planting the roses. She's hyped. She's fucking hyped. Thank you, Janar. Thank you very much, Janar. Okay. Right, good. Have I quit YouTube to become a wedding planner? <laughs> X-Man. Uh, don't give me any ideas. This is entirely unnecessary. <laughs> this cat's on a plane. Yeah, a little bit. 
Right. Chekhov the puppy is now fully healed. Fantabulous. Some potatoes are growing. All the crops are growing. No, it's good. It's good. Take, take some time to enjoy... Well, their time together here on the Rimworld. But we don't know when it's going to end. Thank you, Z uh, Zitron? Z uh, Z Zitron? XT3R0N. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And thank you for the compliments, Dr. Dazai. Welcome indeed, Doctor. Right, so approaching the camp, we have a group of... Um, well, they're, they're, they're people like us. They're colonists who have crash-landed. I wonder if we know any... Well, I would say if we know any of them. Hmm. Husband. Yeah, they've lost their husband. Okay, they're, com they're traders. They're on their way. They have... Ooh. Luciferium. A bionic arm. Ooh. Components which we can purchase. Silver. Hmm. Not bad. Alright. Okay. Let's send Jonah. If you wouldn't mind, Jonah. Uh, could you... Damn, I should have given Jonah... The body armor. Frankly, I probably should. He's, he's going to be going going into melee with people. Um, go and talk to them, if you please, Jonah. Thank you, Boralis. Thank you very much, Boralis. Thank you sincerely. Mm. How many hours do I have in RimWorld? Approximately 705. Okay. Uh, this is not hooked up for we do not have some power. Just drag it through the walls. And then make sure it's all growing potatoes. Whoops. Right. Uh, so they've got some monkeys for sale, but they're shit. Um, right, let's have a look. Keep our animals. Please purchase all of their components. They have 12. They will prove very useful. The colony has 3,671 units of silver. Um, never mind the hyperweave. The glitter world medicine could prove very useful. Uh, sell the two incendiary shells. No, keep them. You never know. We could have nasties in the form of bugs. Um, a couple of prosthetic legs that we've made. They've got a bionic heart. Really? I wasn't even aware that was a thing. Holy shit, they got a bionic heart? Oof. Yeah, probably sell the EMP shells. It's not a bad idea. They're a pile of wank, aren't they? Oh. Oh, yeah. There we go. Totally rubbish. Um, we can purchase some gold. Sell the skull. Well, they're going to be used for the wedding. Uh, oh, we've got two large sculptures. No, no, keep those. Right. Um, I think it's just the components, frankly, mainly. Uh, but do we need either of these? Bionic heart, bionic arm. Could the bio the bi uh, the bionic arm could prove super useful? Uh, does anyone need a better heart? Uh, fuck it. Why not? Buy that bionic arm and that bionic heart. Yeah. Holy shit. Let's get some bionics. Okay. Please purchase. Thank you. Jonah, could you please haul the arm in? Uh, and somebody... Uh, so our hauler, Lady Slaughter, can you please go and haul in the heart? Don't leave those in the mud. And Farinir, could you please... Yeah, haul in those components. Right. Defences. Urgent. Big time styly. We need to go up here. Did I just say... Um, right, we need to go up here and... Oh, good. The switches are in. Yeah, we need to get these turrets moved. So, if you would be so kind. One. Two. Uh, hopefully there's enough spots. If not, we will have no choice but to just make more. Okay. Looks like we're going to need a few more. more. Oh shit, you're right. Gumball had a trade boost. Whoops. Okay. 
Hi there, Tango. Is it raining on this side of the world? Ah! Uh... Yes, really heavily. Why, you can hear that? Yeah, it's really, really heavily raining outside. Thank you, Bloody Nine. Thank you very much, Bloody. Yeah, it's pissing it down here in the UK. I know, Bloody Nine. I, I don't know. Leave me alone. <laughs> Hang on, there was another big sculpture. Has it just been finished? Ah, there it is. Granite large sculpture. Cool. Ethereal lives near Brighton. Ah. It's shit, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you, nerd. Thank you very much, nerd. It's the UK. When is it not raining? Well, things have changed, folks, I'm afraid. The, U the UK's climate, along with the whole world's climate, but the UK's in particular, is changing quite dramatically, uh, owing to the fact that... Uh, what was it I was watching? Something to do with changes of pressure are now happening. Uh, they're much slower or something. So, in other words, big bands of low pressure are now staying. I think the weather thing said... I was, it was, this was back in the summer. But it was effectively saying that because of the lack of... Because there's not a huge difference between the two, like the northern and the sort of middle Atlantic, um, like something, that, to do with the average temperature, we're now having long periods of dry, like, times, dry periods, and then long periods of wet. So, in other words, last summer, was it last summer we had, like, two months of just nothing, no moisture at all? And just it, all of our, like, grass started dying. And there were all these articles about how it's, like, the, the hottest temperature ever recorded. And uh, hang on a minute. So BBC Summer. Heat wave reveals... Reveals ruins. Like, all of these archaeological ruins were st started to be visible because the grass was dying. Yeah, like, the heat wave that we had. Was that this year or was that last year? Just have a look at the BBC. You can see all these ruins from, like, Bronze Age settlements that you'd never be able to see because all the grass is dying. A and we barely get snow anymore in the UK. I mean, they get it a little bit in Scotland, but but down in England, like, we barely get... We just get flooding. Come winter, it's just flooding. Or is it both years? Only a problem in southern England. Well, it's a problem everywhere, boy. But I'm just saying that, you know... Consider this. There was a time where the Thames would just freeze over. The ho you know, not not that long ago. Frank, sorry, when, when was the last time the Thames froze over? Hang on. So, the... The, the Frost Fair. When an elephant walked on the frozen river Thames... Yeah, it was... Fucking, is it 1814? Okay, that's nothing. That That is, that may, oh, that's like hundreds of, no, that is no time at all. Geologically speaking, that is a blink of a fucking eye. Holy shit. You know, the Thames froze over back then. Now? No, no, never. Yeah. Heck, consider that b before then, the, the, the channel would freeze over, but this is like, a few, we're talking like a few thousand before, a few thousand years before. That's how that's how people got to the UK. They would just walk, <laughs> just walk straight over the channel, because it was frozen in the winter. Thank you, Zabulius. Thank you very much. Thank you. But again, this is that was much longer. The point I'm trying to make is it's fucking warm. <sighs> So long as we don't run out of ice cream, I'm sure we'll be fine. Absolutely fine. What's that? We're running out of ice cream? Shit. Right. Uh, Kibble's going there. J-Girl, are you going all the way from the kitchen to deliver that? Okay, hold up. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, vegetarian. Kibble. Um, yeah, don't put Kibble there. Clear all. Kibble. Here. This will be the Kibble room. Cool, that doesn't... Oh, wow. Holy shit, that, that doesn't... That doesn't decompose at all. So we can stick that anywhere. Holy shit. Um, right. <clears throat> uh, butcher creatures make kibble. Just keep making kibble forever, frankly. Until we've used all the insect meat. And then just make sure we just drop it on the floor. And then someone will carry it over there. Okay. And then clear area. Cats and dogs. No touchy of the kibble. Leave the kibble. Cool. 
That will, yes, yeah, so if we, if we can turn all this insect meat into kibble, that will last the winter. That will sort out the dog problem. Although I don't think the wolves eat kibble, do they? They need raw meat. Keanu says, what's my opinion? That the, uh, what is my opinion that the 99p flake is now £1.50? Yeah, I think if ever there was a cause for revolution, that would be that. That, that would be it there, frankly. That's unacceptable. I say grab your bayonets and let's go. Where are we going? No idea. Find out where the ice cream ice cream is made. Right. The wolves don't eat kibble either. Wait, what? Oh, you mean the wolves? The huskies eat kibble? Yes? Yes, kibble. It's fine. Hooray. So just the wolves. To be fair, we've got lots of wolves. Cargo pods have been detected over at the mining camp. Uranium. A yeah, little bit. Every little helps. Western mining camp. We'll retrieve that at some point. Hmm. Right, okay then. So it is the eighth day of summer. At least the heat wave is over. I really do need to get these defenses sorted. I mean, we could have a raid in a few hours for all I know. So once people have woken up, I mean, TNT, you're, you're already awake. Uh, hang on. Just focus on that. Ignore that. Ignore that. Just get that bit, please. Yeah, off you go. TNT will do that. Once people wake up, we'll start moving the turrets. Not yet, Lollens. <laughs> that was funny, wasn't it? One of our colonists went on a drunken bender and wandered into an ins insect hive, started a fist fight with a with a an insect warrior, and then stole some jelly and wandered off. And survived. It was very very strange. Okay, so people are waking up. Chucky is off to work on his large sculpture and he's already had breakfast. Could I ask that you prioritize the moving of these turrets? Let's get them in place and let's start getting the wiring on. We've got sufficient. Okay, let's just relax for a bit. But once he's... Oh, no, wait, we need the steel. The wolves are hauling it. All right. Starvation warning. Cool, so Chucky is lifting up the turrets, placing them down. Uh, that's connected to the wrong location. Whoops. Podo, would you mind just quickly doing these? Missing wires there. Hmm. What's Jay girl doing? She's still sleeping. Okay. Is dude today up on his feet again? Uh, no. Jonah's alright. Let's put that back to a medical bed and reassign this room. Back to Jonah. This is supposed to be due today's bedroom, isn't it? There we go. Due today the geologist. Okay. And Jonah. The evangelist. Right. Thank you, uh, Gil Gilded K. Gil, Gil Gild K. Thank you very much. Thank you. Much appreciated, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, there we go. Oh, no. Damn. Jonah has drunk... Oh, shit. He's, he's just drunk some bad milk and now he's gotten food poisoning. Oh, don't squirt all over the floor. Please don't vomit. The trade caravan are leaving. Bye. Thank you for the stuff. Need to get some decent meds. Aha! Some decent meds, but we need more. Where's Stanky? Working on components. That's fine. Can we make any medicine? I guess we're missing the cloth. We've used it all to make the carpets, haven't we? Yeah. Alright. Yes, indeed, Mr. Hairball. But it should be okay. 
Bugs that spawn here will be much easier to deal with because they will be out in the open. Ish. But yeah, well, they'll, they'll just charge our defences and get cut to mincemeat. I also need to build another auto cannon, don't I? Should have built it there, frankly. That's a bit of a bad idea to put that there. Put an auto cannon here. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just line up and start shooting at them. In the event of a bug invasion. Okay, Finn's off to get some more steel. Carry on. Keanu says, you're not sure if you've seen it, but lots of people are, uh, are leaving Twitch to move to YouTube to stream. Do I have any opinions on this? Have I seen anything about this? Well, um, it's ultimately, it's just a platform, you know, host that hosts streams or YouTubes or whatever. Um, YouTube, YouTube videos. It, it's just a service, you know? But I don't think... Uh, YouTube as a platform is necessarily where people go to live, yeah, to, to watch live streams. I saw, I was reading an article this morning, in fact, while I was lying in bed, and it was talking about uh, th this guy. I'm, I'm not sure who who he worked for, but he was saying, "Oh yes, yeah, your chances of getting an entrenched audience are much better on YouTube if you're a YouTuber." Saying something like, uh, "What was it?" He, he he was pointing out that things like PewDiePie, for example, with his sub count, like if only one percent turned up to view him then blah you know then then numbers big but I, I think it was missing the fact that most people who go to YouTube they don't want to watch the live streams you know it's a, it's a quick thing second so it's on like a tab on your browser YouTube video eat food whatever it doesn't have a streaming community behind it it's just a place to go where you watch videos you know so looking at the big ones you know the the, the big the big players with the big numbers it's going to skew your perspective a little bit. The average person, when it comes to watching streams, they're already here on Twitch, you know? They're, all, they're already here. YouTube lost the streaming war long ago. Well, streaming war, but you know what I mean. Ooh, kibble! Like, they, they, they missed that boat. They've long since missed that boat. Uh, I don't know what that is, Nova, sorry. I'm not not familiar with that. Uh, what's this? Sorry. So over at the Western Mining Camp. Why is all the action at the Western Western Mining Camp currently, not the Southern? YouTube is ma YouTube is mass banning people for spamming plus two icons in chat. What perma banning? Rescue Jonah. Fuck. No, he's fine. Just major food poisoning. What's this dog doing with him? He's fine. He's just he's just down and out with food poisoning. Oh, I see. Did the dog save him? Oh. He'll be fine. Hmm. Whoops. If that's true. Another example of how... Yeah, but... It's sorry, I'm just reading the chat. If, if that's true, that sorry, they're, they're perma banning Google accounts for spamming emotes. Ladies and gentlemen, what I've just said, YouTube doesn't get it. <laughs> they they don't get the streaming thing. They're so behind the you know, they're so back in the distance behind this curve that there's yeah they're lost. Pe people go to YouTube to watch YouTube videos. It is it is a YouTube hosting service. Yes, indeed. Uh, Jonah has been queued up for a, uh, a prosthetic foot for quite a while, but he... Well, we have some medicine now. I need to make more medicine. I don't want to risk doing this with herbal medicine, you see? When was the last time I played Space Engineers, Mega? Uh, about a few weeks ago. Before Seven Days to Die. Sorry, did I say YouTube hosting service? You know what I mean, sir. It vid yeah, it's just a video hosting service. Thank you, Bursting. Thank you very much, Bursting. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. It's it's not like a hey multimedia platform. Hey, we're doing no. It's just it's just where people upload their videos of 
of their dog doing something. That's the niche they've got. Can I, can I not afford, afford Glitter World? Nah. Well, that last trader did have some for sale, but normal meds should be fine. Right, okay then. How are we doing in terms of kibble? We've got 110 units of kibble, and we have 738 units of insect meat remaining. It would be nice to... Yeah, c could we just... While we're here, J-Girl, could you just make as much... In fact, where's, where's Chucky? Pe no, people can eat paste, it's fine. I, d I just want to get this insect meat processed, because it's kind of gumming up the, the freezer, you know? Thank you, Fire Smack. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Why is the dog carrying medicine? That is a good question. A dog was carrying medicine? Shouldn't have been. Okay! Oh no! Oh no! Oh good god! Oh Jesus Christ! Exactly what I just feared that would happen just happened. Ah! No! <laughs> Red alert! Red, is there anything worse than red alert? 21 melee scythes. I've never seen that before. 21 melee scythes are approaching. And my defenses on the north side are not ready. Can we make them ready? Wait, are they ready? Sort of? A little bit? Maybe? So why is that? That one's on. So why is this not on? Switch over to that. Switch that on. Maybe. Fuck. Okay. Um, Defcon, fuck me. Uh, let's go and reconnect that there. Yeah. Can we reconnect that there? Yeah. Uh, fuck me. Uh, everyone, um, yeah, this is bad, actually. This could be really big bad. Uh, <laughs> now it's a <laughs> Guess you sold the EMPs. <laughs> um, right. Let's get uh, ready then. So Jonah is out with food poisoning, so you stay out of this. Chucky's a pacifist, so you stay out of it. Um, in fact, can you just go to the rec room and wait? Due to date, where is your... S uh, yes, there it is. Your M16 is there. Due to date, grab your assault rifle and move to the first bunker. Okay. Oh, shit! The two ladies are currently outside. TNT? Get back inside here and grab a weapon. Or just get here. Podo Man is in the field to the south. Get inside the rec room. I'm just going to lock my pacifists away. Um, right, Stanky. The combat engineer. Get to the north bunker quick. The Oros. You can fight, but I don't want you to do, to do so for now. J-Girl, get your sword. You're going to be needed. Get up here. Sisla, your sniper rifle. That's off we go. Hoodoo. You can fight, but where's your weapon? Uh, grab that light machine gun. Damn it, I was not ready for this fight. Okay, Ben. Can you, uh, nope, incapable of violence. Get over here. Lady Slaughter is capable of violence. She's just incompetent. Go there. Same, nope. Incapable of violence. Batman loves violence. Off she goes. Gumball. Man that mortar. Finn, and off you go. Right. Warriors assembled. Go. Um, animals, let's get you inside. So all the livestock, yeah, they're going to start slaughtering livestock if we don't do something. So toxic fallout. All you get inside. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So for those just joining the stream, the base is about to be hit by a large number of synthetics. Their, their purpose is unclear, but they just seem to want to kill all humans, effectively. Um... I wonder if... Stanky, do you think you can grab some of that steel and maybe get that... I mean, look, if you get a little bit of steel... Like there, maybe. Yeah, see if you can quickly get some, some of... Yeah, hang on. Grab some of that steel and get up there, quick. Okay, hold fire for now. Get them loaded. Just seeing if we can get some additional turrets going. Go, go, go. They won't be long for other on us. All ass. 
Finn takes position. I worry that we won't have enough firing positions for such a big attack. Hold there, Finn. Uh, Stanky's moving out to fix the... Hang on. Click that. How much time have we got? Very, very little. We've got seconds before the runners. Okay, high explosive shell. Just start fucking shelling. Just gonna have to keep pausing quickly, I'm afraid. Go, 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 go. Uh, no, there's no time, Stanky. Just do that. That, that, that. Can we get this reconnected to the mains? Uh, is it on? What's the problem? Ah, there. Okay, someone kicked that. Chucky, go hit that quick. I see. Uh, okay, so do today, go. Batman, go. The wolves are here. J girl, go. Okay. Uh, how am I going to do this? So they're split into two groups. They're just going to reunite in a minute. This is quite bad, actually. Hang on. So, Stanky, you've done your best. Reconnect. Can we reach? Oops, wrong button. Uh, what's the problem with this picture? I can't reconnect because it's not within range at all. Can we reach? No, we can't quite... Yeah, we can. We can reach. Okay. So things are cracking online. Can't stand there. No, the, colony must, the colonists must be coming. Let's go. Let's go. People are still assembling. Okay. The auto cannon has opened fired. Right. So are these ready to fire? Not yet. What I fear is that they'll be on us before we can really react and there's too many to down. So we're going to have to flee inside the base and quick. So... What are my what are my best chances? Of standing or f or fleeing? Six, seven, fifteen. Fuck. So here are my choices. I can flee into the base and leave the turrets to their own devices and lose them. That I think losing the turrets is an and then yeah is an 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 in an inevitability. Words. Fuck me. So never mind that. Twenty one of them. Mortar set to hold fire. Is it? No, it's fine. Just they're just they're calibrating. Um, right. So I think we should run inside. Yeah, just pull inside, quick fire, and then just go. Let's go. What? What? I'm sorry. Ben has decided to go and murder Gumball. Why? Aren't you a pacifist? You're incapable of violence, yet because you've got a slight craving for Psychite, you've decided to go and break Gumball. You, you... Okay. Um, Podo, can you restrain your sister? Try to arrest your sister. Um, oh, fuck me. Um, hang on a minute. J-Girl's bedroom. Arrest her. Oh, she's, she's come. Yeah, she's gone quietly. Okay, all everyone in. Quick, 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 quick. Everyone, get the fuck in. Here we go. Ben is no longer going through a murderous rage. Oh, gee. That's good. Right? Um, sorry, I know I keep pausing. I've just got to keep thinking. My brain is loading. Close that door. Okay, so they... Oh, wow, we're down one at least. Right, the turrets are stuffed. Never mind them. Where are these guys going? These guys are taking the southern entrance. Let's get the southern turrets on. Click that power switch. Hit it. Lady Slaughter is wandering around in a psychotic daze. Every <laughs> Everyone's running out of Psychite. They need their fix right now. What's wrong with Hoodoo? Oh shit, no, seriously, everyone's run out of Psychite. Oh god damn it. Are we all out of Psychite tea? <gasps> we have no Psychite tea. So extreme break risk for all the people who are, who are on drugs. Oh dear. Dun dun dun. Right, so you guys move here quick. Batman, stay with the dogs. Wait. Now, if we step out, we're just going to get overwhelmed. That's the problem. Seal these doors. No, 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 no. Seal the doors. The, the turrets are stuffed. Seriously. The turrets are totally... I mean, that autocannon will tank for a few seconds. Do we have a few seconds? Do today. Step forward quickly. Stanky, watch yourself. No, 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 no. Those, those scythes will be on you. Leave it. 
Leave it, leave it, leave it. Okay, these ones are coming around to the south side. The turrets are just gonna ha gonna have to handle themselves. What's Faraday doing? Come over here and man that turret. Oh, incapable of violence. Just go to the rec room then. TNT, you take over what Lady Slaughter was doing. High explosive shell is ready to fire at long last. You can now fire on this group here. Damn, is that your minimum range? It is. So you have to fire on this group. Okay, the auto cannon turret, expensive one, just exploded, sadly. Ooh, that's... That, that, yeah, holy shit, that's done pretty well for me. Oh! The door just... The, the wall, because it was badly damaged. Wait, but the, the odds have changed. They're all super badly damaged. Okay, line the fuck up. Line the fuck up. Yeah, sorry, the, the equations change. If they're all really badly damaged, we can do it. Here they come. Okay, uh, god damn it, the worst is still to come. <laughs> uh, right. No, the equation has changed. Mow them down as they come through. Here we go. Get ready to release the animals. Mow them down. Oh shit, who's that? That's Brittany. Oh no, Brittany. Fuck. Nothing we can do. We need them to come to us. In fact, move there. Hang on. Bottleneck the fuckers. Here they come. Right, now we release the animals. So, Batman. Um, oh, no shit. Fuck it. Just release. Just go, go, go. Everyone in. All, all in, all in, all in. Let's go. Try not to hit each other, but just do your best. Yeah! Yeah! Brilliant. Okay, we lost the turrets, but we're okay. The, some of the dogs are hurt quite badly, though. They'll be bleeding to death soon. Okay, the north is fine. Now it's just the south. How are we doing? The auto turrets have already been overwhelmed, but they're down to ten. Holy shit. They killed three. Okay, right. Let's switch our priority then. So move down here. Let's go. Never mind these mortars. They are already... Yeah, they're within your combat range now. It's, it's over. Yeah, your stuff. Seal those outer doors. Uh, uh, they can't get with... Yeah, just watch that situation. We could have a repeat. The auto cannon could explode. Even these odds a bit. Okay, here we go. Good. Okay, note for later. It nearly took out the wall. That's going to be important. We're down to eight. We can take on eight. We'll be fine. Everyone just stay frosty. We'll be fine. Okay, get back inside. Get back inside. What, what are they doing now? Oh, look, they're even tripping the traps. Right, get ready to occupy the bunker. Ooh, don't go in yet. J-Girl is running outside. Whoa! Okay. Hold your horses, my dear. Other way, if you please. Okay, they're destroying some animal beds. <laughs> right. Refugees chase the Columbus Creek. No, we don't know. Oh, no! It's TNT's uncle. Oh, we can't fight that. We've already... No, we can't. I'm sorry. So, TNT's uncle is calling us for help. But by the time they arrive, we, we would already kill the robots. I can't, I can't help. We can't help your uncle. A 69 year old as well. What does it say that's right? A 69 year old, Jesus Christ. No, the scythers are almost gone. Look, look how big this attack is. 15 elite mercenaries. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, we can't. We're not in a position to help you. Right, here we go. Where are my melee? Who, where's Batman? Where's J-Girl? Oh shit, she's fallen behind. Fuck it, we're just going to have to go with the dogs. Give him a second, give him a second. Okay, and wait for Batman. Good luck, boys. Here we go. So how are we thinking about this? Um, We're going to do this. Dude, today goes here, there, there. Sisla's going to go there. Batman's going to stand here. Voodoo's going to stand here. Go. Uh, yeah. Watch yourself. Here they come. Good luck. Once again, can we release the animals? Oh, I suppose they're really injured, aren't they? Oh, they're already released. Okay, so they're just charging. Gun them down. Gun them down. Gun them down. Go for it. There we go. Combat shotgun. Yes. Go, Batman. Shit. Fins at the front. 
Batman, can you assist with that? It's probably more important right now. Woo, what's your shooting? Finn's hurt. It's a brutal melee fight going on here. Okay, what's your fire? Who do? Everyone's okay. Everyone's okay. Yeah! <laughs> right, go here. Step out the way, Batman. Yes! We did it. We lost a lot of turrets, though. Fuck. But we are okay. 18. Wait, spike traps. That's not what I wanted. 21 dead scythers. Huzzah! Good, good. Stand down, everybody. Stand down. Why is Farino fleeing? Oh, he's fleeing the battle. Okay. Everyone stand down. We'll start looking at these injured wargs because they're hurt. Holy shit. <clears throat> okay. So, can I assign a medical dog? But no, I can't. Right. Batman. So, how are we doing? So, Batman took some bruises to the head, but it's otherwise okay. Uh, Finn also got some, oh, some nasty couple of cuts on your left leg there. A l yeah, that, that thing's gushing blood. Okay, quickly get her in the infirmary. We'll get that sutured and, and properly wrapped up. Thank you, definitely not cyanide. Thank you very much. Okay, everyone else stand down. Um, as a slight morale boost, can we get some psychite team? Are we, are we totally out of psychite? Okay. That would have been good to know a little, a little earlier. We are out of psychite. So we don't have any drugs to keep the people who need psychite happy. So they're going through withdrawal. Okay. That could have been much worse, frankly. But turrets are replaceable. People are not. Okay. And also lesson learned. Yes, we almost yeah, they almost pierced the base with that explosion, so hmm. maybe probably not the best idea to have a single granite wall between us and them, you know. Yeah, okay. All in. Check these dogs then, how are they doing? Oh, you poor bastards. Poor old Leos is badly hurt. Left eye bitten out. Oh, it's a while ago. Yeah, very badly hurt. Can we get them treated? Uh, hang on, where's Ben? Oh, of course, Ben. Ben's under house arrest for being weird in the middle of that. Hmm, thank you, Sergeant. Yeah, we're okay. Release her. Um, that's J Girl's bedroom. Okay, J Girl, you go there. Is anyone still? No, we're good. So who can? So hang on, if Ben's out of action. Our doctors are going to have to be Sisler with a skill of 9 and TNT with a skill of 5. TNT, could you come inside? Just stargazing outside. Time and a place. We need you in here. So TNT gets to the main infirmary. Sisler's already here. Okay, uh, no, no, have a bite to eat later. You tend to Finn, Batman, and the Wargs. Go, 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 go. Come on, let's get them patched up. Yeah, they've just collapsed on the floor here. So just two of them? Brittany. Oh, uh, she's in shock. She'll die in three hours. Okay, someone go, go get Brittany quickly. And also we'll unrestrict the animals. So the wargs, cats and dogs area. Cool, and then move the livestock outside. That's not correct. Livestock outside. Okay. Uh, who can grab quickly? Grab Brittany. Uh, rescue Brittany. Grab her quick. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, Hoodoo is quickly trying to stem the... Yeah, trying to stop the bleeding. Uh, any other wargs that are super hurt? Horatio... Yeah, you've got... Well, they fought very well. The wargs fought valiantly, didn't they? Okay, quickly grab her. She'll die in three hours without medical attention. Some visitors. Hello. Uh, that's the mining camp. It's, we're fine. Okay, pull her in quick. She, okay, taking her to that medical bed. Uh, all right. Can you tend to her? You're not going to have time to retrieve any of the decent meds, so just use whatever cloth you have in your pockets or just tear off a piece of your shirt and just wrap it around the worst of the injuries there. So her left ear was sliced off. She's got a nasty bleeding wound on the body there, Brittany's body. Okay, hopefully they'll be okay. Okay, this one can now walk. Hoodoo, could you please tend to Kilo? What about our own people? Dies, yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be, we'll be fine. Okay, uh, back at the machining table. Stanky's probably excited. 
well, tired for the minute, but by tomorrow you'll be, you'll be excited for there is a generous bounty uh, scythers for you to disassemble. What's dude today doing? Yeah, everyone's off to bed. Everyone's tired and hurt. Okay, Sisler, where are you going? Off to go rest. Uh, never mind that. Could you go tend to Batman? Where are you going? You're off to get the amazing meds. Never mind those. Just get the herbals. We've got loads of those. Yeah, probably. Some of the wargs did take um, some injuries. But I'm not, not trying to be funny, but they are they are dogs. You know, people come first. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Luoth is still dying, I think. Where's Luoth? Oh yeah, you've collapsed. Holy shit, you are still dying. You wandered off from treatment. You'll die in two hours. Sisla, quick. Go tend to those injuries, quick. Hmm. Okay, nine hours. Cool. Brittany's bleeding stop there. Did I close Lulu's ears when I said that? Well, don't worry. I'm sure in any combat situation, Lulu will be absolutely fine. She'll just do the whole big wide eyes thing. The trick there, at, yeah. And then, then fart on them. Then the fart gas will like erode metal. <laughs> Should be fine. Uh, right, where's Leorth? Where'd he go? Uh, sorry, where's Leorth gone? Oh, he's being carried by Sisla. All right, so long as you stop the bleeding, yeah? He did. Did okay, good. She's pregnant as well. Hmm. Leorth, you're pregnant. Yeah, they they performed admirably, didn't they? No, tell me that's a mining camp. It is. Thank fuck for that. A geologist at the age of 44 is attacking the southern mining camp. <laughs> Have fun. It's a tent. <laughs> it's a it's a tiny shit shack. Okay, looking at the time, folks, it's probably a good idea. To, uh, yeah, it's a good idea for me for me to finish the stream. I would like to get some dinner fairly soon. I also need to walk Lulu. And uh, I plan to do a bit of VR with the guys at around 8 o'clock, so look into doing that and, you know. Ooh, wow. Okay, quite a bit of hay grass there. Why can't I select this top batch? Hmm. That bad? I think it's more that his injury... No, your... Your doctoring skill is terrible, that's why. Never mind, just, um... Hoodoo, just, uh... Leave it. Have a real doctor do it. Someone's freed Ben. Good, good. Ben, would you mind? You have to tend to the humans. Uh, their injuries are not as severe. Tend to Kilo, then tend to the humans. Ah, Joan has gotten over the food poisoning. Welcome back to the land of the living. Since when have I been a fishing enthusiast? Well, I restarted the hobby this year, Masuka. I did it when I was a teenager, and I enjoyed it, but it was very expensive. Uh, I found that as a teenager, it was a hobby that I just could not maintain. What, with pocket money of, like, £10 a month or something? When a simple piece of, like, fishing line costs that, if not more. Yeah, it was just, it was too expensive. Hmm. But yeah, I've been enjoying that. I've been enjoying fishing. Yes, I've also been, as uh, two effective points out, I've also been enjoying boring the uh, boring the chat to tears about fishing. Hmm. Fire? Oh, it's fine. It's just a hut over here. They'll burn it down. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll just rebuild. Won't take long. No problem. You got your fishing license yesterday, in no small part because of my fish talks, honourable. Ah, and good luck to you, sir. What type of fishing, honourable? And whereabouts in the world. Thank you, Trollson, and one stop drop. Thank you sincerely. Thank you. Up, 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 up. <laughs> yeah, Prince Gore. A fishing emote. Yeah, yeah. 
every time he talks about fishing. Okay, so the people who were injured are now, yeah, it's getting sorted. Um, just looking at something, the people who are going through psychite withdrawal, good, their psychite tolerances seem to have been reduced. I'm guessing because we, we're no longer mass producing yayo, a very hard drug. We're now just doing psychite tea. I wonder if the game is adapting so that the psychite tolerances are being reduced, maybe. Honorable says, America, freshwater only. Currently building a tackle box. Hope to do some after Thanksgiving when you return from a trip. Huh? Well, have fun. Have fun indeed. I don't know what sorts of fish they have in America, I'm afraid. Um, here we have lots of carp, uh, lots of roach, lots of bream, and lots of chub, lots of barbel. Barbell, barbel. Uh, we also have pike fishing, that's also very popular, along with trout and salmon. Uh, plenty of sea fishing goes on as well, being an island. Lots of bass fishing is done. Mackerel as well. Mackerel swarm in these great big shoals. And you can get loads of them if you stick like a you know, fairly simple rig in. Ooh. Oh, hang on. Sai is sending me pictures of his knob. That's charming. On, on, on my phone. Right. Cool. So thank you for watching, everybody. So this has been a bit of uh, RimWorld, the sixth year of Coloma's Creek. This, well, this creek that we've got here. We built a fairly large base with its main living quarters, its residential area, its farming land, which I, I yeah, the, the farming areas, which I, I really need to sort out. They're not very good. And northern and southern defenses. The southern defenses are a bit undercooked. The northern defenses are a bit better. But looking on how that last attack went, perhaps it's a good idea if I expand these bunkers and have more firing positions and, you know. Um, yeah, but it's it, a work in progress, certainly. So, um, thanks for watching. Have a lovely, lovely evening. Well, I'll be back soon. Sorry, what am I saying? Um, so, yeah, I'll be back at around... Uh, how long? So, about 2 hours and 15 minutes. Uh, the plan is to do a bit of VR, I think. So, I need, I need to go get the VR heads, uh, the controllers charged up and see what the guys want to do, if anything. But, um, yeah. So, until... Yeah, before then, I need to get some dinner and take the dog for a walk and make sure she eats dinner as well and yeah so just just general bits that i really need to do so thank you again if you're a patron or a twitch sub please check your email for this morning i sent out an update concerning what i'm doing and um yeah hopefully you approve uh, thank you smacks and one stop drop and trollson and ugsy and lil storm thank you sincerely thank you right bear with me just a second okay so on the channel Let's have a look. So ZF Clan. Okay, so ZF Paltos is playing WoW. And Yuki is playing the Universe Sim. I don't know what that is. Okay, I'm going to hand you over to Paltos then. So, right. So this is ZF Paltos and he's playing a bit of World of Warcraft Classic. He appears to be outside Gadget Zan uh, playing as a Forsaken. What is that? What class is that? It looks like a mage, I think, based on my memory of those icons. I might be mistaken. That could be a warlock. Pretty sure that's a mage. Anyway, take care, all the best, and have a lovely evening. Hope to see you again soon.